Now this question says one gram sample of KCl3 was heated under such conditions that a part of it decomposed according to the equation. So this equation is given and the remaining underwent change according to the equation. So this equation is also given. If the amount of O2 evolved was this at STP calculate the percentage by weight of KCl4 in the residue. You see we have to calculate the weight of all the residue. Residue is KCl, KCl4 and KCl. Oxygen is a gas so in residue you will not have oxygen. So first task is to find the weight of all these species. So first find mole of O2 we have this is given mole of oxygen that is 146.8 and this divided by 224 double zero. So let us use calculator. So 146.8 divided by 224 zero zero. So this is 0 0.0065 that is 6.55 10 to the power minus 3. So I can write this is around 6.55 10 to the power minus 3 mole. So now if I know the mole of oxygen we can calculate mole of KClO3. So mole of KClO3 this is same so you see 3 moles react with 2 mole so you will have 2 third of 6.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole. So if you see this is 6.5 into 2 by 3 so let us say 6.5 into 2 and this divided by 3. So this value comes out to be 4.33. So this is 4.33 mole. So we can also calculate weight of KClO3 that is used in the first reaction weight of KClO3 that is mole and this also multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 basically here I should have 10 to the power minus 3 so this multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 mole so beta of KCLO3 will be 4.33 10 to the power minus 3 and if potassium is 39 chlorine is 35.5 plus oxygen is 16 so we will have 4.33 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 39 plus 35.5 plus 48 so let us calculate this so we have 4.33 4.33 multiplied 39 plus 35.5 plus 48 So this value is 530 that is 0 0.530 so 0 0.530. So this is the weight of KClO3 that has been gone through the first reaction. Now for the second reaction weight of KClO3 we can find weight of KClO3 that is decomposed decomposed by second reaction by reaction 2 so this is 1 minus 0.53 gram so this is 0.47 so 0 0.47 gram so now this is the reaction second that is now we can calculate mass of KClO4 but before that we have to calculate mole of KClO3 so mole of KClO3 and this will be 0 0.47 this divided by this is the molecular mass 39 plus 35.5 plus 48 now this is the mole of KClO3 now once I know the mole of KClO3 we can calculate mole of KClO4 this is 3 fourth so mole of KClO4 this is 3 fourth of mole of KClO3 that is 0 0.47 this divided by 39 plus 
35.5 plus 48. So we can calculate beta of KClO4 now. We have to simply multiply by molecular weight. Beta of KClO4 and this is 3 fourth into 0 0.47 this divided by 39 plus 35.5 plus 48 and multiplied by mass of KClO4 KClO4 is 39 plus 35.5 and this will be oxygen 4 so 64 so let us calculate this mass so we can calculate this one so let us first use these numbers so first see what this comes out 39 plus so this is 122.5 so this is 3 fourth into 0 0.47 and divided by 122.5 and this multiplied by once again I have to add one more 16 because we have KCL of 4 so this is 138.5 now if I do this calculation so I will have 3 multiplied 0.47 multiplied 138.5 divided by 4 into 122.5 and this is 4 into 122.5 so this value 0 0.398 so 0 0.398 gram if we somehow calculate the mass of oxygen then we can easily calculate the mass of residue so let us say we know the mole of KClO3 and mole of KClO3 initially we have this one so what is the mole of oxygen due to the first reaction that is 3 2 3 by 2 into moles of KClO3 so we can write moles of oxygen that is 3 by 2 multiplied by 4.33 that is the moles of KClO3 10 to the power minus 3 you see here so this is 4.33 into 10 to the power minus 3 and now this is the mole of oxygen we can convert into bait so bait of oxygen left this is 3 by 2 into 4.33 and this is 10 to the power minus 3 into 32 gram if I calculate this value so that is 4.33 into 1.5 3 by 2 I can always write 1.5 multiply 32 so this is 207 that is 0 0.207 so 0 0.207 gram so apart from oxygen if I apply the mass conservation residue mass will be 1 minus residue mass and this will be 1 minus 0 0.207 gram so this value comes out 1 minus 0 0.207 so this is 0 0.793 gram so 0 0.793 gram and if I know the residue mass we can calculate percentage residue no percentage KC I have to calculate percentage KClO4 or KClO3 so we have to calculate percentage KClO4 and we have calculated the beta of KClO4 this is 0.398 gram so this is 0.398 divided by 0.793 multiplied by 100 so let us say 0.398 divided by 0.793 so this value comes out to around ex exactly 50 percent so this is around 50.18 so 50.18 percent now you see we have done some uh, error this kind of error like uh, we have taken 4.33 we can go even up to more digits so in that case we will get the right answer or exact answer 49.9 percent and which is very close to 50 percent so answer in this case is around 50 50 percent you see the important point we have so what is the idea in this problem we have to calculate first mass of KClO3 that is used in this reaction 
then we can calculate mass of K solar 3 that is used in the next reaction and then we can easily do this problem.